What's going on everyone, Derek Monster back in with a video and today I'm going to talk about So one of my Taco Bell videos I actually got a request to go to Taco Bell and try their spicy potato soft taco Now this has actually been a menu item I've been looking at for a while But now that I actually got a request to do it, I actually have motivation to go out and try it So I can get this request done for that person Also if you didn't know, Taco Bell is cutting a lot of items from their menu next month And the spicy potato soft taco just happens to be one of those items So it's a good time to try it Also the person who requested this Requested that I try the spicy potato soft taco with pico de gallo to give it a little more flavor So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order the taco and a side of pico de gallo That way I can try the taco by itself I can try the ta taco by itself with hot sauce And then I can try the taco with pico de gallo and the taco with pico de gallo in hot sauce So I can kind of get all the flavors But as always, I got my mask and I got my gloves and I'm gonna head to Taco Bell and I'll see you when I get there So I'm headed to Taco Bell. I was actually thinking on the way here, I don't know if you can get Pico de Gallo just on the side by itself. I might have to buy chips and Pico de Gallo. I don't know. I'm going to try to get it just by itself because I don't really want the chips with it. But yeah, I'm going to the drive through get my food, and I'll see you when I get home. Okay, guys. So I'm back from Taco Bell. I have everything in front of me. I have my spicy potato soft taco right here. I was able to get a side of Pico de Gallo, so I also got Pico de Gallo as well. I also got um, some mild sauce to try with it as well. And of course, a medium uh, blast. So I got all that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this uh, spicy potato soft taco. Never had uh, potatoes in a taco, taco shell or before, so. Okay. So. Let's talk about what's in this. There it is. So what's in this is potatoes, chipotle sauce, cheese, lettuce. So I'm guessing the chipotle sauce gives it that kind of um, that kind of spicy taste to it. But yeah, let's just try it just by itself. But chipotle sauce does make it spicy. And those potatoes are actually good. You know, I was uh, I was actually thinking that the potatoes were kind of gonna gonna kind of be like hash browns, I guess you could say, because um, I imagine they were fried, you know, in a pan or something like that. So, and I was correct. It tastes pretty good though. Anyway, try it with some mild sauce. And my sauce does it give it more of a kick. Okay. Oh, pick the guy who smells good. Let's see if I can um get some of it on. Ooh, kind of fell over the place. <laughs> I got some of it on though. Um, let's just uh, I guess let's try this. So 
little bit of floor and shit. Hold on one minute. Okay, I got off the floor. But it's actually not bad with Pika de Gao. That's a. I'm gonna try to put this on over. Put some Pika de Gao on it. There we go. And now, so now we got Pika de Gao on, as you can see. And now let's put some hot sauce on it. There we go. Man. The person who requested this, you were right. You pick a dig out of this, you have a lot more flavor and it makes it, it makes it better, you know? Some more peaky peaky on it. Some more hot sauce. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. So The chipotle sauce gives it that kick, right? That needs to be spicy, but you add the pico de gallo on it there, and it's, it gives it a little more spice. And then you add the hot sauce, and it just makes it spicy all together, and it works so good. I'm gonna open this up for some more pico de gallo on it. I might put a little too much. Okay, so this, I don't know if you can see it. I opened the shell and put Pika de Gallo and, um, and hot sauce in there. So now it's <laughs> now it's got potato chipotle, uh, cheese, lettuce, Pika de Gallo, and hot sauce, or mild sauce. I'm just gonna try to get this in one bite. Mm. Whoa. Wow. Honestly, the person who requested this, Pika de Gallo, was a good choice. I'm glad I got to try it with it because honestly, Pika de Gallo gives it more flavor, you know? Mmm. It's so good. Whew. Oh, well, that's I'm done with that taco. <laughs> that was the first thing I've eaten today, so. Yeah, but whoo, that taco was good. So I would recommend it. You have to get it while you can because I'm I'm pretty sure it's coming off the menu. I might have to check the list again, but I thought this was one thing that's coming off the menu. But I mean, the, the potatoes, you know, they taste like hash browns because they're grilled and stuff. It would be like if you made hash browns on a on a stove, you know, on a pan. It's not like deep fried hash browns like they have at McDonald's or whatever. But um, it's just like hash browns if you cooked them on a pan, you know. Um, those are what the potato tastes like. And honestly, if you try it with Pika de Gallo and mild sauce, you really don't get much of the potato taste because there's the chipotle sauce that makes it spicy. And the cheese and lettuce are also there um, that give it a little more taste. Along with the Pika de Gallo, it just... Um, gives it more taste overall and then you got the hot the mild sauce or whatever sauce you want you know you can make it as spicy as you want if you if you 
just want the chipotle sauce, then just don't put hot sauce on it. You know, it's simple as that. If you can't handle spicy stuff. But I honestly liked it. I thought I was going to like it because I like hash browns and I like spicy stuff. So it's like spicy potato taco. Two things in a taco shell, you know. You know. And honestly, I didn't think it was going to have chipotle sauce. I thought this potatoes itself were going to be spicy. I didn't think there was a sauce that made it spicy. Um, but either way, it was good. And honestly, whoever requested, um, or the person who requested, I know who requested it. The person who requested Pico de Gallo with it, that was a good choice. It did give it a lot more flavor, and I enjoyed it a lot more with the Pico de Gallo than when I first bit into it and tried it. So, yeah, I'm glad you requested that. That was awesome. And now, now I can, now I can come off the menu, you know, but honestly, I probably would want to go back and get another one because it was good. Um, but yeah. I was happy that I was able to get a side of Pico de Gallo because I wanted to try it by itself with a hot sauce and then put the Pico de Gallo on it and try it with Pico de Gallo and a hot sauce. Um, but yeah, I liked it with Pico de Gallo. That was good. Um, yeah. But that's it for this video. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys all next time.